Hi, my name is Chuck at Inline2, and today we're going to show you how to identify and choose the proper distribution block or proportioning valve for your factory restoration or disc brake conversion on your GM vehicle. Choosing the correct blocks or valves can sometimes be difficult because there are so many to choose from. They are all different sizes and the fittings change as well. Some blocks and valves are used in conjunction with others and many are singular units which require no other blocks or valves. The first question you must ask yourself is, are you looking for an original appearance or are you looking for something that just bolts on and appearance may not be an issue? The next question is what type of proportioning valve or distribution block does your setup use? 1964, 65, 66 and all older cars had a single master cylinder with drum brakes. They also had a single distribution block that distributed the fluid to different parts of the car. In 1964 and 65, the front and rear lines were 3 16 and in 1966, they changed a quarter inch. Here's an example of the two different blocks and fitting sizes. In 1967, all cars went to dual masters and disc brakes were an option. You can convert your 1964 to 66 car to dual master by using the dual master, dual block, and dual lines supplied here at Inline 2. Or you could purchase the whole kit with power booster. During 1967, all cars had dual master cylinders, and both drum and disc brake cars had distribution blocks. These distribution blocks are sometimes confused with proportioning valves, which were not yet invented. These valves were located on the frame for A-body cars such as Chevelle, GTO, Cutlass, and Buick Skylark. These valves were also located on F and X-body cars such as Firebird, Camaro, and Chevy Nova and were located under the master cylinder. This PR108 distribution block was used for dual master cylinder on disc and drum cars for Chevelle and El Camino in 1967. Also, in the same year, this PR106 ran from 1967 to 1969 and then changed to the PR107 when the rear fitting changed to a 916 for quarter inch tube, where the earlier valves used a half inch by 20 for quarter inch tube for the rear inlet. It does have the provision for the second master line, but cannot be used on disc brakes alone because it does not proportion any fluid and is still just a distribution block, but now has a low pressure warning light lead. The light comes on the dash when the low pressure is detected. In 1967, when disc brakes were ordered, they received the same brass block to the left as the drum car, but had an additional hold-off valve that is to the right. The function of this valve is to apply the rear brakes until the system built up enough pressure to activate the valve, applying pressure to the front brakes. These hold-off valves were used on 1967 to 70 front disc cars and changed appearance every year as engineers redesigned them. Starting on the left is the 1967-68 valve, followed by the 69 valve in the middle, and finally the 1970 valve to the right. Notice the fitting size changes on the valve only in 1970. It uses a smaller 3 8 24 for 3 16 tube, where the 67 to 69 uses a 7 16 24 for 3 16 tube. All of these valves are available new at inline tube and should be changed when you're updating your braking system. During 1970, a third valve was added to correct problems from the previous years. This full three piece only came on Pontiac and Chevrolet AF and X body platforms. This valve now went in the rear line to restrict pressure because the rear drums were locking up before the front brakes were even activated. These valves were also used on big block cars in certain applications. There are many locations for this third valve. It can be located at the back corner of the driver's side of the frame on a GTO or Chevelle, or behind the driver's door of a Firebird or Camaro, or even on the front valve such as the 70 Camaro. This valve would cause you to have a two-piece front or rear line since the valve is located in the middle of the line. In 1971, those three valves were combined and superseded by one valve that is now called the proportioning valve or the GM combination valve. 
This valve provides 70% stopping power to the front brakes and the remaining 30% to the rear drums. This valve proportions fluid and corrected all the previous braking problems. This setup on the left is from a 1970 Camaro and the valve on the right is from a 71 Camaro. Again, the mess on the left, or rat's nest as it's called, is replaced with a single piece proportioning valve. So, when you're looking to put disc brakes on any car, the proportioning valve is the way to go. However, if you want the car to look stock, you'll have to buy the appropriate number of valves for your application. If stock is not a concern, a valve master setup is what you will need. If you have any questions on distribution blocks or proportioning valves, for your next disc brake conversion or factory valve replacement, contact us on our website and we can help you find the right part.